So everyone, welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets inking University of Michigan sophomore defenseman Zach Wierenski to professional contract. Uh, no entry level deal as of yet, just an amateur tryout agreement with the uh, with their minor league affiliate in Cleveland. A lot of that, I guess, has to do with they don't want to run the risk of having to protect them in the event of a uh, expansion draft in a year or two. So it's more to you know dot the i's and cross the t's and anything else, but. Uh, for all intents and purposes, when, you know, his, and also by reporting to the AHL, he gets to play in the AHL playoffs. He will not be in the show this year, um, which is kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to have seen, you know, what he can do with the uh, with the big club. But, you know, you look at next year, you know, he'll likely break camp with the Jackets of him, Seth Jones, and, and Ryan Murray. I mean, if they were to win the draft lottery, they would have a power play unit of potentially down the line. Austin Matthews, Sonny Milano, and Brandon Sada up front. Seth Jones and Zach Lorensky on the back end. In a team on a team that wears red, white, and blue. So yeah, no America. No big deal. Um, but you know, again, I, I've loved Wierenski's game since he was with the development team. I watched him play a couple times this year, uh, over the last couple of years with the University of Michigan and with the uh, US World Junior team, and you know, he's a special player. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, this kid was the youngest player in the history of the University of Michigan. I mean, he was on campus less than two months after turning 17. That's that's pretty impressive. At age 17, I was a junior in high school, as I think most of us were. Uh, that's, that's not a knock on me. It's the reality of it for 99% of the population. Um, but I look at, you know, a kid like this as, you know, being a, a perfect, um, you know, Potential all-around great defenseman. I mean, he was a top 10 pick in the draft for a reason. I mean, I would have loved to have seen the Boston Bruins end up with him. You know, I think that he could have you know, been a good fit with the team. Obviously, that wasn't meant to be. And Columbus gets to add, you know, a really, really good defenseman, um, you know, to their, their mix of, you know, talented young players. Now it's just a matter of, you know, will, will John Tortorella screw it up? But we'll see what happens. Again, um, I like the kid's game. I think he's going to be a very good defenseman for a long time. And uh, if he doesn't, if he's not up with Columbus next year, believe it or not, he is still eligible to play on the U.S. World Junior Team. That's how young this kid is. So keep that in mind uh, if he's sent to the AHL next year, my my American fans, because having him on the back end would not be a bad thing at all for the uh, the WJC team. But you know, again, I'm uh, I'm excited to watch him start the, the next chapter of his hockey career and uh, see what he does at the next level. Anyway, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes through the season and beyond. Later, guys.